was in quote unquote jeopardy, they were thinking of the blog, but they found a new uh, thanks to uh, the show the tutorial. Welcome to Mythgard, a tactical CCG set in a world of modern magic, cyberpunk werewolves, and missing gods. So, uh, yeah. So they found a new um, dev team who went to take over the game, so the game will not be shutting down. So I will finally get around to uh, showing a few let's plays of this. This short tutorial goes through the basics of combat. It only lasts eight turns, so pay attention. The first thing I need to do is burn a card. Burning a card gives me one mana and one gem. Mana and gems refresh every turn. This magmatar is powerful, but it's expensive. Burn it now. Cards that you burn get shuffled back into your deck. There's a good chance that magmatar will be back. All right, that minitar costs one mana and one red gem. Now, let's create a minion. Most minions are sluggish when they're first created. It should perk up the next turn. End turn. So it's got a bit of a Magic the Gathering vibe to it. Paths are passive abilities that provide a foundation for your deck. You choose your path when building your deck. Because your path just progressed to the spring season, you gained one life. Burning cards builds up my resources. After a few turns, I'll be able to play more powerful cards. I should burn this forlorn spirit. All right, now I have two mana to use each turn. Powers are active abilities that cost a small amount of mana and can be used once per turn. Your power, Infuse, increases the strength of one of your minions. Use your Infuse power on your Minitar now. It looks like that Minitar is ready to start fighting. Minions threaten the three lanes in front of them. Use your Minitar to attack one of the three opposing lanes. Okay, now end your turn. Remember that when you burn a card, you get both one mana and one gem. The color of the gem that you get is determined by the color of the burn ring on the card that you're burning. There are six colors in Mythgard, and each corresponds to a different faction. The flexible mana system lets you support two or three colors easily. Burn your Dora so that you have three mana. This will give you your first green gem. Lanes are the heart of Mythgard's combat system. When a minion attacks, it must prioritize attacking enemy minions in the three opposing lanes. With a sniffer in the way, your minitar is blocked from attacking your opponent directly. If you attack now, both the minitar and the sniffer will die. Not a bad trade, but let's see if we can do better. Play your Matayoshka artifact. You have five artifact slots. Stacking artifacts occupy the same slot. When you damage a player, you also damage the artifact in their outermost slot. An artifact's durability is shown in the bottom left corner of its card, or at the bottom of its icon. Unlike minions, artifacts can be used the turn they are played. Use your Matayoshka to buff your Minitar. Attack with your powered up Minitar. Okay, that Minitar is doing a lot of work. Go ahead and end your turn now.
Let's do this. Remember that your path is a passive ability that you choose when you build your deck. Because it just progressed to fall, you drew an extra card. Burn the gem hole dwarf you just drew, so you have another green gem. Plane enchantments change the board. They often provide benefits to any minion that occupies the enchanted lane. But they can also have other effects. Minions can change lanes in Midgard, but moving to a new lane is up their action for that turn. Let's get that Minitar away from that Valkyrie tower. Move her onto your red carnival. End turn. You took three damage from that attack. Since your Mataryoshka has durability, it also took three damage. If an artifact runs out of durability, it is destroyed. Burn the Night Hag for your third green gem. Let's do something about that ensnaring serpent. Play your Sky Ranger. Approaching target. Some minions have active abilities. Use two green gems to activate the Sky Ranger's ability. Use your Matter Yoshka to buff your Sky Ranger, then attack the ensnaring serpent. Both will die, but it also clears a way for your mini tar to attack. Now attack the ensnaring serpent. The Minitar is now powered up by Red Carnival and has clear attack on your opponent. What are you waiting for? Attack! <laughs> Let's try attacking from multiple parts of the board. Play your Strigoi Pureblood in the far right lane. May I come in? Go ahead and end your turn. is just what we need to win this turn. We can't burn it because you burned it earlier. See the used burn ring and the burnt look of the card? Burn the Forlorn Spirit. First, use marching orders to set those blockers up for the Magmatar's powerful Awaken ability. Awaken abilities happen only once, but they happen immediately when the minion comes into play. Now, play your Magmatar and destroy all three of your opponent's minions. Play. Looks like we're about Take to win. You. Attack with your Strigoi Pureblood. Finish it by attacking with your Minitar. So, yeah, um, it's an interesting card game. Um, definitely has its own spin, unlike most card games, because, like, ye. Anyway, so, yeah, I just wanted to show the tutorial, and then I'm going to start playing uh, with the actual deck. There's a lot to learn in Mythgard. Here are some of the best game modes for you to try next. Story mode. You opted out of the story and that's your call, but the 15 game story unlocks some great rewards. Puzzles. The first eight puzzles show you how some important minion abilities work. Gauntlet. A few runs of the PvE draft mode can help you get a feel for the game. But make sure you pick a faction first and get started on unlocking those great faction rewards. See, this is what I kind of hate about a lot of games. Um, 
you have to pick a faction without even knowing anything about it. Just, just like, am I the only one who, who hates that sometimes? Like, just pick a faction and you're just stuck with that. Luckily, you can change them here later, but still. Okay, so yeah, that's 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 the tutorial. That's the whole thing. Um, hopefully, you like MythCard. Hopefully, the game will be revived. And uh, yeah, screw name and signing out.